Well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Sagittarius, we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you. We're going to see what's going to come out here. And let's, uh-oh, I don't know what this is, but I see it trying to come out. Knight of Wands. I, I really do feel like, and this is a love reading, by the way, okay? You know, usually, I mean, the, the Knight of Wands really does get a bad rap. I mean, it's not like it, there's no reason, right? I do feel like for a lot of you, you've been indecisive about love. You. Maybe it's because of past hurts, um, someone that you were dealing with. You have been indecisive. I feel like you're going to be facing something in the future with someone who's been, who's who, who's familiar, which means someone that you have history with. Um, but there was always some disruptive energy. There was always something going on, you know, with this person, meaning. It feels like your person was in and they get distracted or there there was a very fleeting energy with them. Yeah, it's a hastiness energy. Anytime you get the Knight of Wands, it's like the person is very hasty about their moves and they make moves without thinking. And for a lot of you, I feel like this has been you. Even though you've been dealing with people like that, I feel like you have been hasty when it comes down to love. And let me tell you the reason why. This is not everybody, but I feel like there has been something missing within you. There has been this lack of love that you've been showing yourself, an imbalance in a way. And you've made some reckless decisions. You've made some decisions that have really hurt. And some of you are facing, you know, the repercussions of moving too quickly with someone. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I do feel like there is somebody who may want to return. Like, I do see that. A lot of you are going to be, you know, having people from the past um, come back. And again, I always say this. People from the past does not mean only recent past. This could be distant past as well. But there is a past energy in your reading. I, I usually shuffle. But because it's, I'm doing this and I'm so close to the camera, I'm not going to shuffle like that right now. I'm just going to choose. I'm just going to pick. Thank you, Spirit. Hopefully this is one card. It's two. Let's get this one. Oh, yeah. Tower. So here with the Tower card, you're letting go. You're releasing. Some of you have been waiting <clears throat> on someone to come back, waiting for someone to make a decision. Some of you have been waiting to make a decision to let somebody go for good. Maybe like, what if you're pretending right now? What if you're kind of pretending like everything is okay and everything is all good, but it's really not. You're kind of like, you know, go along to get along, but something about your connection doesn't feel right. You don't feel what you're supposed to feel. You want to you want someone in your life that does things, right? You may have a lazy lover. You may have someone who's just lazy. They they're not putting that spark in your heart. They're not a charming, you know, they may be an entrepreneur. Yeah, they may have money or whatever, but it's something that's lacking. But you you could be in a connection just because it's like you're, you know, it, it's it's somebody. It's a warm body. And for others, you are shutting down. And you are learning to take control by releasing someone who just cannot get it right. It's just this uncooperative energy that you've been experiencing with somebody. And it's like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> You're learning to let go. There are, there are things that you are wanting. You have your own goals, right? I feel like somebody's been pulling on your energy. Some of you are so lighthearted, so bubbly, you know, and you're dealing with somebody who's just pulling all on that energy of yours, okay? Um, I also feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody at your job. Okay, I know, I know. I don't know where this came from, but you could be discontinuing some type of secret affair. 
okay? Because maybe there's just too much conversation within the office, too much conversation with people. I do feel like that. Some of you guys are in that energy. But I do feel like you're releasing somebody because there's there's interference, third parties. It's, it's you not feeling the way you need to feel. And so you're just moving on just because it's time. Here with the Tower card, it is time. Let go and heal. That is what I see you guys doing. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is for Sagittarius. <clears throat> I don't want you guys thinking that I'm looking, so let me do it this way. All right. Hold it turned over. Got a lot of cards have turned over here. You got the Queen of Pentacles. So you have the Temperance and you have the World card. Yeah, it's something that's coming to an end a conclusion of something. There's a chapter. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. For a lot of you, you know, somebody here, there is like, let's try to see if we can make this work again. Let's try to see if we can make this work, you know. And this is really, you know, this is really about closing out chapters and that you've been, things that have been stringing along in for decades or for years. Okay. And let me Sorry, I'm trying to get it together because this just feels like, I mean, how much can you really take? Enough is enough. You know, this person is just coming in and out. They give you time to heal, give you time to forget, and then they come back in here. This is why I don't like that energy, why I was so scattered trying to get it out. That's how I feel with them. And they're also a little scared. <laughs> they're a little afraid of what you're going to say, okay? Because uh, they're stuttering, stuttering over their words, okay? It's kind of how I am right now, but anyway. This is it. There's just nothing else to say that this is just what it is. It's like you are like, re you're ready. You're ready here. I feel like someone is learning their lesson. And this is not a schmoozing thing. I don't do that schmoozing thing. Oh, they love you so much. And, you know, they're not happy without you. That ain't true all the time, y'all. That's just not true. But this person, I do feel like they, you know, it's something about your energy, you withdrawing and pulling away that they've, they're they learning something about relationships, about life, how caring. That's the reason why the Queen of Pentacles came out. Ah, got it. Got it. You know, she's a humanitarian. How does that equate into relationships? Very giving. You love taking care of your man. You love taking care of your woman. You like for them to feel special. And this is the reason why I feel like the person wants to come back in. But do I feel like it's going to last? It all depends on you and your situation, right? Individually, I can't say, like, as far as, this is a general reading. So I can't say if a person comes back in, if it's going to work or not. So we're going to go ahead and actually clarify, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's get into that. Let's see what comes out here for you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> let's see what comes out. This is for Sagittarius. We're going to start with that nine of wands. I feel like it's good and bad energy. I always say that when it comes down to that nine of wands. I always feel like it's good and bad energy with that. It's not always a bad thing, you know? I just feel like, you know, it just depends on the situation. All right, so the first card that came out here is the nine of wands. This has been getting on your nerve, but not, not enough. This has not been getting on your nerve enough. Yeah, they've hurt you. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it, it's almost like you need them at one minute to validate your ego. And then the next minute they are bruising the ego. Okay. This has been very testing you. This has been very testy. Very testy. I feel like a lot of you have put up with it because you were, you thought that, because remember a nine is like, okay, oh, okay, okay. If I just hold on, you know, because, you know, that's really what this is about. Like, if I just hold on, hold on a little bit longer, hold on a little bit longer. And then when you were holding on, as long as you were doing, it was like, this person was roughing you up emotionally. I don't see it being physically, but I feel it emotionally. They were roughing you up. You've been roughed up. Some of you right now, you're players. You know, like you were dealing with two different people. You were dealing with different people, actually, just different people. And then all of a sudden, now you're in a dilemma. 
See, you were, you were dating based off of your ego. The fact that people liked you and thought that you were attractive and, you know, all over you and all of that. And now something happened. You don't fail for somebody. That's for a few of you. That's for, and I, I am mostly talking to the divine masculine with that because I can totally see that with this reading. And I'm not saying that it can't hit the divine feminine either, but there is definitely like, damn, how did I get here? <laughs> how did I get here? You know, I should have set boundaries and I didn't, right? And now I have to, now I'm in a, in a place where I have different people or have someone that I really like, and I may have to give up my player ways. Yes. Someone is at that position. They were not, they, somebody here did not think that that was possible. But for most of you, like I said before, you were just holding on because you were just that close. You were so close to you know, or you were thinking that you were close to actually getting what you were wanting from this person. But in the meantime, you, you were getting roughed up. Okay. You were getting roughed up. Now let's go ahead. Let's get your next card here. Let's get this tower. Let's see what this is. Why this is coming out. Oop. All right. Let's get it. Let's see what, what it is here. Get the tower. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of y'all been knowing this person for a while. And the Ten of Pentacles really does talk about something that you wanted with someone that you were just not going to get. You, you know, it, it's a it's two different opinions. You got somebody here that's kind of reckless a little bit in behavior. Whereas somebody here is all traditional. Like, I'm, I'm a traditional girl. I'm a traditional guy. And someone was not wanting a traditional lifestyle. So you and this person, y'all conf had conflicting values <laughs> there's no, nothing else really to say the tension came from the fact that you couldn't agree on how you wanted a relationship to be and i'm not saying that your person really don't want this but they were trying to make it seem like it was okay for you to deal with what they were doing for right now and that wasn't fair I don't want you to go anywhere. Just put up with me a little bit longer. Put up with me a little bit longer. Yes, I believe in traditional lifestyle too, but I need you to accept what I'm doing right now. And for a lot of you, you're like, no, enough is enough. You have to release this, this tension, this fight, these, this, these arguments, the, the misunderstandings, the other people. You got to let that go. And that is what you're doing. And you're standing your ground on it. You have stood your ground on it. I don't care how long you've been knowing a person. I don't care if you guys were in a long term. You are standing your ground on it, period. And it's okay. You want something traditional. It's time. And you don't want to waste any more of your time with someone who is just very flaky. Okay, I don't know how what else to say about that. Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get to the temperance card here. We're going to see what's going to come out here for Sagittarius. Y'all definitely got somebody from your past. Pat, I'm telling you, it's somebody from your past coming out in your reading. I'm telling you this right now. It is somebody from your past that is here. It is nothing you can tell me. Yeah, it's somebody that you walked away. <laughs> I already do it. I do it. I had this card was turned over. I was wondering why it was so hard for me to pick it up. It's someone that's thinking about you. Ain't that crazy? It's like it's been about two years for some of you guys. This person is still thinking about you and they're going to hit you up. Hey, Sag, how are you doing? You're going to be like, I can't believe this person is on my line right now. They are thinking about you heavy. I don't know why. They are thinking about you heavy. And this person really did pull away from you in, in a really weird way, too. It hurt your feelings. But somebody is feeling down. Oh, they're feeling sad. See, you were the sunshine of their life. And now all of a sudden, they're like, wait a minute. I didn't even remember I said that lesson. Didn't I tell you? What lesson are they learning? A world without you. Ooh, I got to write that down. I'm make sure I write that down. Because I know I'm going to forget. And I, I know for a fact I'm going to forget. A world without you. A world without you. A world without you. Okay, I got to make sure I remember that. A world without you. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. See, at first, the person was very optimistic about this connection working. Like, they were too confident. They were like, oh, I, you know, I know Sag ain't going to go nowhere. And you did. And see, the reason why it took them a long time to come back in here is because they were trying to save face. 
Like you really meant nothing to them. Okay. But now that they're hurting and now that life is not feeling the way that they want it to feel, they need that son back, which is you. And so this person here who, who gave you the flux before, who you walked away because you refused to deal with their nonsense, that is the person that's coming back in here. And I don't care who it is, a person from the past that's recent or far. That's what I'm saying. And I do feel like you and this person had a strong connection. It's just they effed up. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Like you really wanted a commitment with this person and you may have been in a committed relationship with them. That's the kicker. For some of you, this could have been a, a long term and that you and this person were committed to each other or it could have been a marriage. I mean, it could have been either or, but I do see it. They refuse to conform to a traditional romantic relationship. And now they're like, maybe I should have. <laughs> you're like oh well it's too late for that this is the reason why the world card is here you're like okay no sir ma'am it's too late you may you may give it a try you just may give it a try but i don't i don't know i don't know if you're feeling it anymore it just depends let's go ahead let's see what's going on with this world card here for psychic periods thank you all right oh wow sagittarius i really do believe that there yeah yeah, yeah. look at this you look at it, what came out you got the seven of cups that came out and you had the will of fortune a, a, a destined connection hitting what a new beginning oh my god success success is hitting the world card right well success is the world card the will of fortune is destined this is a love reading there's someone coming in here with that seven of cups. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Let, you know, have hope. I do feel like, you know, some of you guys, let me pull this up so you guys can see. Sorry, it, it just both came out at the same time. So this is the major. I'm gonna put the major here because this is how you know it's gonna happen. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful thing that's just about to occur for you. Um. I do feel, and I'm just going to say this, I know, I know some of you are kind of like, when, yes, when is it going to happen? Like not knowing when and not knowing how, or even if it's going to occur can be very scary. So I'm, I'm not saying I get it. I know some of you guys are in this energy where it could be very scary because you just don't know. It's a, a bit of a mystery of surrounding your love life. And this is causing a lot of confusion or you could be dating and it could be, which one is it? I like two different people. Which one is it? Remember, I said you're going to be at a place, for some of you, you're there now. But some of you are going to be at a place where there's two different people that like you. But I'm telling you, there's going to be one special person. And because you have options, oh, that's right. That's right. The seven of cups. That's the reason why I've kept it. It's an intuitive thing. It is. That's why that came out because you're dealing with different people and the universe is like, use your, use your intuition. Now, this is not like you can't choose. Yes, you can, because there's going to be someone who adores you. They're going to adore you. You're not going to be choosing based on the way that you used to. Oh, they had sexy legs or they had a lot of money. And, you know, it ain't going to be based on that. You're going to be attracted to the person, but it's not going to be the old way you chose before. No, this is a higher level of love. Come on, spirit. I was wondering, I was wondering why I kept on. I'm like, why is that? Why, is, why am I seeing that? That's why. In order for you to actually experience this divine connection, this destined connection, you are in a higher consciousness where you are not no, you're not choosing love the way you used to choose it, choose a person. And the way you even view love is different. Oof. Oh my goodness. Get rid of that self-doubt, please. And that feeling of inadequacy when you are dealing with people when you're dating. Get rid of that. Stand strong on your beliefs. And I'm telling you, you're going to meet your person. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, Sag. Okay. All right. All right. I see you guys saying that. Oh yeah. Stop yelling at me. I'm really not yelling. Okay. You're going to have your happiness. I know for a fact you will. Uh, by the way, if you guys are interested in a personal reading and you want to know how this is going to uh, be for you individually, 
All of that information is down below, okay? If you guys are wanting a reading, if you send your money, make sure you send your email. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.